Okay guys, in this video what I'm going to do is demonstrate what I would like you to do later in your activity uh, assignment for this module in REDCap uh, in downloading data um, from a REDCap survey. Once you've designed a survey and collected data, I'm going to explain the next process. So I'll use my um, test survey here. Uh, so again, log in. REDCap, go to My Projects, pick the survey that you've designed, I'll go to My Test Survey, then over on the left there's a Data Export Tool. Uh, so you click on that. There's two ways to do this. Um, there's a simple Data Export Tool. I'll show you that really quick. It's quick and easy. Uh, you might use that while you're testing initially. Um, and basically you click the Simple Tool, say OK, that you'll cite them in future work. Or reports and then uh, you can download in as an Excel file SPSS SAS or a few other formats all we care about right now is Excel so you can click and download that with labels or the raw file and there's a difference there so if you click the labels uh, it will download the file and I'm just gonna open that really quick and what it does is actually puts the the field for um, the actual value of data, the referring value of data for that response. So where they said usually or always or satisfied or complete or how likely is it to rain today, there was a 74 or 10. Uh, the other file, the raw file, I'll download that really quick, basically has a similar file except that it just puts an index value representing that value. So you would have to decide whether you want to use um, the the value which was what was it for that one corresponding value here so it usually corresponds with a two excuse me and there's my window okay so you can see usually corresponded with two always with one there may be cases uh, when you go to visualize this data later or create a chart or graph or something from that that, you, that it's easier to go ahead and use these uh, numeric values and then translate that for your key in the in the, in the chart. Uh, but if you're producing a quick report or you're summarizing this in another way it might be useful to use the coded value or the labeled value. Uh, another thing that you should notice here is that the first name category is an identifying uh, field which when I designed the form I clicked the checkbox to say that this this is an identifying uh, field so that's important there may be cases where you want to de-identify your data if you're doing a research study there's a, um, a significant need to do that to de-identify your data before you publish that in a report um, and what's this field the timestamp the other things reported is numeric. So if you go back to REDCap and instead of choosing the simple method, if you go to export your data tool um, and display advanced options, uh, you can choose which fields you want to display. Let's say this one or that one, you only want a few fields. Uh, maybe to, to do a visualization or a little chart or graph, maybe you only need a few fields. What I'm going to do is go ahead and select all of them, including first name, which is identifying data. And then I want to go down here and I'm going to say, ah, yeah, go ahead and remove identifiers um, or hash the participant ID so that it's not a recognized value. So that if I have sensitive data or things that I need to protect an individual's uh, identity, I can do that. Uh, and there's other things that you can do to make sure that it only sends validated text fields and things like that, but I'm not going to worry about that right now. So I'll hit click to submit, again say OK, and then I can download that uh, with labels. And you'll notice that in this new file, uh, the participant is coded into a unique identifier, but there's no way to connect that with the individual. This is a hugely valuable tool for doing research studies. So I want you to be aware of that 
and if you're collecting data for your final project and you you know just reasonably want to protect the identity of your participants I want you to use that and I think that's it so down you can download that uh, then you can do the same thing you've done before since that's a CSV file you can import that into a Google spreadsheet and you can take and visualize that data as a map or other other forms later but the main thing I want you to be able to do in the exercise coming up the assignment coming up is to be able to uh, create a red cap account design a form uh, collect data at least you know five or six maybe ten data points and download that data and get that into Google spreadsheet thanks